So I'm very excited to have with us on this seg segment, Darlene Corbett. Hi who's a, a owner and founder, author, speaker, yes. uh, doing it all. I'm <laughs> doing it, yes. And uh, your organization is Unstuck. Yes, Unstuck by Darlene Corbett, darlenecorbett.com. Okay. Yes. So why don't you tell us a little bit about kind of uh, your, your background, sure. the book, and kind of sure. some of the theories or kind of uh, uh, things that you kind of talk about sure. uh, while people kind of get unstuck. Absolutely, <laughs> thank you. So my background is I'm a clinical social worker, by background licensed independent clinical social worker, licensed therapist, and hypnotherapist. Wow. Yes, and so about five years ago I decided I wanted to take my message of helping people get unstuck, which I've been doing for over 30 years. Right. I wanted to take it to a larger platform. So I began speaking, and then I began writing. Mm -hmm. And so speaking and writing, and finally, it's a long story, but my blogs got in front of an administrative assistant of a publisher and she said have you thought about writing a book I said well maybe someday well someday better come soon because I'm not exactly young and I, I wrote my book based on my keynote and I often say to people stop depriving the world of you I started saying that to the wonderful people I see because a lot of these people are very successful they have uh, they've, it's great success professionally personally but like every all of us they've had obstacles and so they sometimes get a little uh, there's some trepidation to get back out in the wider world. And I said, Just, you're depriving the world of you. So I told my publisher, I say to my client, stop depriving the world of you. He said, that's your title. Mm -hmm. I said, you're right. So my book was launched, and now I am still a therapist. I still work in the Needham three days a week. I still do hypnosis. I'm an approved consultant. And now I'm a speaker, author, and I'm going to be a podcaster soon. Podcaster, <laughs> wow. You're, you're, okay. <laughs> yeah. And so, so the, the idea of... of, of stop depriving you know the world of you and, yes. and kind of unstuck is you know people may have an issue or challenge in their you know professional or personal life yes sometimes it becomes all consuming yes uh, that's right they perseverate on something yes. and can't you know get past can't get past it they're stuck they can't you know, focus on the bigger picture that's right and you work with them on how to yes so so we all have obstacles right I say life is a beautiful experience but it can feel like an obstacle course sometimes you mm -hmm. get over one and you just don't, you don't wait for the other, but it shows up sometimes. So I use both therapy and it's eclectic. I take an eclectic approach. So I, I take a, a psychodynamic approach, a family therapy approach. But I also use a lot of hypnosis because hypnotherapy is something people can visualize. So using hypnosis, I've developed some just good old visualization techniques and scripting, which I include in the book, because my premise, not just based on my experience, is that everyone's capable of getting unstuck. Everyone, no matter their circumstances, right. their age. And there's a science behind it, which I talk about in the book, neuroplasticity, which shows the brain has plasticity, a capacity to change from the day we come on this earth until the day we leave. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so I really, I've not only witnessed it, but this is the science, you know, the foundation validates it. Right. And so you, you just, you know, described, I think, you know, for, for our viewers, yeah. you know, sometimes people think of hypnosis and they, yeah. you know, think of, uh, movies or cartoons yeah. that they, they yeah. saw uh, but but you described it as kind of visioning yes. uh, and seeing things and yes. I you know as you were just describing that I you know thought of some of the, the coaches I had in athletics over yes. the year you know that's right you're shooting the foul shot vision picture it going in that's or you're right. shooting the puck or you're throwing the football or hitting the base yes. I mean it's you to vision it and think about that in a positive way in repetition that's right Athletes know, and you know, it, one of the techniques, so hypnosis is highly misunderstood. I, I, there's a, that's a whole story I'm actually presenting tomorrow at the chamber. But cool. you can visualize it to the point, it's called focused attention, and that's what you're referring to. And that's a phenomenon in hypnosis, and a lot of the athletes have it without even knowing it, that they develop that visualization, focused attention, and that's what helps them be able to perfect their, their sport. And so you can use it in many other arenas. Right. So, yeah, so you're absolutely right. That's one of the phenomena. And, and that's, you know, the, the, the athlete, that's something that, you know, people might be familiar with. But there's also the ability to, you know, you want people, and that's where yeah. the work that you do and yes. the consulting and the advising yes. can help people in the work, not just in their personal life or athletics if they're you know right. still playing in right. uh, old men old men <laughs> leagues or whatever it is right. myself we, included men of a certain <laughs> age yeah, right yeah and there female you know, leagues out there but that's right but 
how do you bring it, you know, that same yeah. kind of approach to your work? Yes. So one of the things, I'll tell you what works in hypnosis, one of the things that makes it work is the person believes in the hypnotherapist. What makes therapy work is you believe in the therapist. And a lot of changes these days, everything's quick, they want the quick fix, but truly what really makes it effective is the relationship mm -hmm. between the therapist and client. And my belief is that if the client really be recognizes you believe in them, it helps augment their right. own hope. Right, yeah. right. And, and, and we're seeing, you know, uh, therapy, you know, with, you know, we talk about trauma in young kids. Yes, yes. You know, we talk about, um, you know, uh, the fact that we have so many of our veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan, yes. you know, being exposed to some terrible things, PTSD, yes. uh, TBI. Yeah. Um, you know, we see with the whole uh, issues around addiction. That's right. Um, you know, counseling therapies are now proven strategies yes. on how people get well. Yes, absolutely. And it's interesting, there's a lot of good techniques they use for trauma, they use CBT, they use a lot of new techniques, but they did a research, or they did a survey a few years ago in Therapy Network, and they said, what is the most effective part of therapy? Now, I know some people might disagree with me, all the different therapies, it's the relationship between the client and the therapist. Yeah, trust, you gotta trust, have it, Trust, right? exactly. And don't get me wrong, this, I mean, I'm a th hypnotherapist, I can see someone twice, and they can work through a habit or a phobia, and that's not frequent, but sometimes. Yeah. But, so they don't need a strong relationship, but they have to believe you believe in them. Right. But there are some therapies that doesn't have to be that strong, but if you're gonna stay in therapy, especially for trauma, you better trust the therapist. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. And so I uh, want to give people, you know, want to get a hold of you. Yes. We'll learn about how them individually, a company, yes. an organization. Uh, yes. Have you come speak? Why don't you tell us? Yes. So, so as a speaker, I speak on helping people get unstuck, and that is the overarching theme. Within that theme, I talk about overcoming obstacles. I talk about the th th positive thoughts as a, as a mechanism to heal. And I also talk about the imposter syndrome because so many people feel like imposters, even if they're highly successful. And so that's my speaking. I love to speak. I love engaging people. Uh, and I'm very interactive. I will engage the audience. Yeah. People can get a hold of me, DarleneCorbett.com. They can email me at Darlene at DarleneCorbett.com. It's easy enough. Darlene at DarleneCorbett.com. That's right. All one word. That's right. And then DarleneCorbett.com. That's right. All right. Yes. Well, you know, uh, I got to tell you, this is the yeah. first time in, in my time doing the show, which is probably about six years yeah. now, where we've talked about uh, your therapy and, and yeah. some of the hypnosis, but but the counseling, but it, it, it works. You yes. want people that are motivated, ready for work. That's right. And companies have an interest and, and individuals should have an That's interest. That's right. Absolutely.